Hi, welcome to another lecture on MRCS and it's question and answer session. A 55 years old man is due to undergo a radical prostatectomy for carcinoma of the prostate gland. Which of the following vessels directly supplies the prostate? So it is the we can um, see here this is the direct question that means which vessel supplies the prostate. Here are the options. The options are external iliac artery, common iliac artery, internal iliac artery, inferior vesical artery, and none of the above. So we have to find out one of the artery, and this artery supplies the prostate gland. So here in this picture, we can see this. First of all, this is the urinary bladder and just in below the urinary bladder there is the prostate and we have to find out the blood supply of the prostate that means uh, the artery name of the artery which supply this prostate gland so in this picture we can see this is the urinary bladder here this back this is the urinary bladder and just below the urinary bladder here this is the prostate gland and we can see the uh, artery which supply the prostate gland if we go back we can see this is the prostatic artery this prostatic, prostatic artery dividing into the branches and finally supply the prostate gland and if we can back we can see this prostatic artery it arising from the inferior vesicle artery and this inferior vesicle artery or inferior vesicular artery it is a branch of internal iliac artery so the prostate gland is supplied by the prostate artery prostate artery is branch of inferior vesicular artery inferior vesicular artery it is a branch of internal iliac artery so any of these three artery if present is the option then this will be answer so prostate artery branch of inferior vesicle which is branch of internal iliac artery so we can see prostate is supplied by the prostate artery we also can say that the prostate gland is supplied by the inferior vesicular artery and we also can say that the prostate gland is supplied the branch of the internal iliac artery in this picture uh, it is another picture and here we can see uh, the larger picture for clear conception and here we can see this is the urinary bladder and just below the urinary bladder there is the prostate and here we can see first of all this is the lower part of the abdominal aorta abdominal aorta is dividing into two terminal branches one is the right common iliac artery another one is the left common iliac artery and here we can see the common iliac artery dividing into internal and external iliac artery and from the internal iliac artery there are several branches. one of them is inferior vesicular artery and this inferior vesicular artery or inferior vesicular artery it provides prostatic artery which supplies the prostate so it is now clear that the prostatic artery this branch of inferior vesical artery which is branch of internal iliac artery and internal iliac artery it is branch from the common iliac and common iliac is the terminal branch of abdominal aorta so here we can see there is no prostatic artery but there is the inferior vesicular artery so answer will be not internal iliac it will be inferior vesicular artery because as their inferior vesicular artery present so answer will not be the internal iliac answer will be inferior vesicular artery if there was no option of inferior vesical artery then answer would be the internal iliac artery so here the vessel supplies the prostate is the inferior vesical artery not internal iliac artery if inferior vesical artery were absent then there would be the option the answer would be the internal iliac artery thank you